so we start with the lacrimal drainage system as you can see the figure this is the lacrimal drainage pathway of eye so basically there are two punctas if you can see from the eyelid there are two punctas in the medial side so from these puncta they go upwards and then there is the upper canaliculi this one is the upper canaliculi this one is the lower canaliculi they meet and form a common canaliculi where it basically opens into the lacrimal sac this area is lacrimal sac and there is a valve that prevents the backward flow of the tears that is called valve of Rosenmuller from this lacrimal system lacrimal sac this this is a nasolacrimal duct this nasolacrimal duct then goes basically downwards backwards and laterally to open in the inferior meatus okay so it opens in the inferior meatus and there is a valve here which is called valve of Hessner okay so important thing is that valve of Hessner is usually closed at birth and slowly it opens so it can be a cause of congenital laser lacrimal duct obstruction and valve of Rosenmuller which is situated at the level of lacrimal sac and it regulates the opening of common and canaliculus into the lacrimal sac another question that is asked is the direction of nasolacrimal duct remember a pneumonic double so this means that it goes downwards backwards and laterally okay so these are some important points that you have to remember regarding the lacrimal drainage system also they would ask that what constitutes the lacrimal pump so if they ask about the muscle the muscle important muscle that is used is orbicularis so the orbicularis muscle is basically responsible for the lacrimal pump mechanism 